Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your general love reading for the week. So if you are a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading is for you. Um, these are very general, short messages. Okay, so take them with a grain of salt. All right. The timestamps will be in the comments down below for each element that you are dealing with. Okay, so let's start with the theme of the week. So for all of you, regardless of the sign that you're dealing with, um, I drew the card feelings and patience. Okay, so um, so I feel like the theme here this week is that you need to know how the other person, like it's like, so some of you want to know how the other person feels, but you need to be patient. Okay, um, for others of you, this could be to be patient with your feelings, like calm down. Maybe there's some kind of um, argument or disagreement. Um, yeah, that's basically what I have. Okay. Let's start with fire signs. If you are a Gemini dealing with another or not an, another, a fire sign, like a Leo Sagittarius or Aries, I drew the four of wands and the dog. So the four of wands is very positive. Sometimes people say it's like the 11, 11 card. Like you see two wands and another two wands, like 11, 11, uh, celebration, liberation, cel um, putting down foundations for the future, marriage, um, getting a new house. The dog is a friend, it's loyalty, um, being submissive. For some of you, this is a friend who wants, uh, who wants to be more than friends with you. But I feel like for, for those of you, you, you might be, or some of you are feeling the same way about them. So it, it's like, um, even if you haven't been friends that long, it's like getting to know someone. It's like there's this mutual, oh, you feel the same way? Okay, let's be together. So there's like a happy kind of feeling of reunion. But with the theme being here, I feel like you've been so patient, it's paying off now. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, it's more positive. But for some of you, this is a friend who's married or already in a committed relationship. So you're, tr you're having to be patient. Um, maybe you know they feel the same way about you, but they're kind of still <sighs> having to live the rest of this or play the rest of this relationship out maybe for the next few weeks months or years but you know in your heart they will be yours eventually or you'll be theirs etc um this could be uh, showing a celebration because you do get a lot of support and loyalty from this person some of you are getting a lot of support with friends in general okay maybe you got out of a relationship with a fire sign and you just have a lot of support around you a lot of friends you're going out with friends you're partying you're having fun you're getting your mind off this person even though yes the four of wands and dog is not a breakup but let's say if you are a single gemini um, either you go out with friends and meet new people through friends with parties celebration you know the four of wands or um, they help you get that they're very supportive of you while you are trying to get over this person okay or this fire sign person okay <clears throat> Some of you get this person to agree with you, like there's a happy agreement about something, you've been patient about it, and they're finally agreeing with you. Um, or they, this person goes out of their way to do something nice for you. Um, there's also like this recogni uh, uh, recognition that um, they really do care. They really do care. There's also a new home for some of you where you two uh, move in together. Again, the dog is not really, the dog is known as the friend. So um, I feel like for most of you, you're not married to this person, but if you are married, this is a very good uh, friendship. Like it's not just a marriage. It's like you're, you're not only together romantically, but you're like best friends. You really have a great time this week. So if you are committed already with this uh, fire sign person or you are married to them, this is a really good week. And, and it, you know, a lot of patience because you guys have a lot of your feelings are very um, patient and calm and meditative this week. OK, so overall, not not bad at all. OK. Now let's go to air signs. If you are a Gemini dealing with another air sign, like an Aquarius, another Gemini, or a Libra, um, I drew the seven of wands and the ship. Ooh, okay, this is pretty obvious here. Um, someone doesn't want you to leave. Or your person doesn't want you to leave, or, or someone doesn't want the other person to leave. They're trying to fight to keep them there. But you need to be patient, okay? Or here's another message. Someone is pushing the other person away. And the reason I say that is because, look, we have the Seven of Wands where he's fighting. He's He has the warrior stance, right? And then we have the ship card. So the ship can be leaving, right? It can be um, avoidance, absent, all right? So 
this is again, 50, 50. So someone is upset for some of you. This is like being upset that the other person is absent. They're just not there. I don't know if it's long distance or someone does leave this week or someone has to travel for work for some of you. They want to make the effort to win. They want to win you over. So they're not going to give up. But again, there's that you need to have patience, right? Someone who might have a bad temper. Usually the seven of wands is not always like it. That's usually I, my bad temper card is usually the knight of swords. To me, that's like a bad temper or someone that's really pissed off would be like the nine of wands. The, but the seven of wands is sometimes readers see it as someone's fighting for you, but some readers see it as pushing the other people away. You're, you're, you know, the, the guys on top of the cliff, they're pushing the other people away. It's like defense magnet. Um, they're, they're defending themselves, right? So this is like a push pull situation. Some of someone's trying to pull the other person back towards them or push again. There's like this push pull situation. Okay. So when I said they want to win you over, so this could be a challenge to win the other person's affections. Like, oh, they're already taken with someone else. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's like this competitive type of energy. Like I'm going to, I'm going to get them to come my way or I'm going to get them to leave their person, their woman or their man. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I see cheating here, but it, you know, again, there's just two cards only, so it can mean anything. Um, but I will say this, this air sign, there's this, uh, sorry, this other air sign is not very patient or one of you is just not patient. Um, so what I'm getting also is for others of you, someone has no patience and they cannot control their feelings and this makes someone want to leave. So do be careful of that. Okay. Just be careful of that. So let's go to water signs. If you are a Gemini dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, I drew the Eight of Swords in the house. Okay. Hmm. Someone feels stuck or someone is stuck. They feel trapped. Um, this could be because someone is an unhappy, in an unhappy marriage or because of family issues or obligations associated with the family. The reason I, I say family is because the house can be about um, family, right? Or property or something. Um, for some, this is about too many rules and regulations, restrictions. So I'm not sure if, if, if you, okay, so if you're a Gemini dealing with a water sign, they want, they have so many expectations. They have so many rules for the relationship. They have so many, we got to do this. We got to have date night on, hey, I'm nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with planning, but it's like this person's very managed, like all about managing everything. There's no spontaneity. There's no spontaneous anything. It's like just... We have to do this, this, we have to have sex on Wednesdays. We got to get the, and it's like, there's no fun. There's just, it's like this robotic type nature. I'm not saying this is for all of you. For some of you, you feel like it's more robotic. There's no actual passion and it's not spontaneous and romantic. Okay. But when I was talking about restrictions, um, it could be that this week there might be situations related to travel restrictions or that someone can't really go out and see the other person because they are, they have too many family obligations. Maybe they're taking care of an elderly parent. Maybe they're, um, they've got too much going on with the, ch with the kids. Um, they, they work from home. They have too much work. Um, Here's what I also get. Someone is really thinking about you. They're thinking about you a lot. You're in their head, right? With the eight of swords, they're surrounded by their thoughts, but they're not letting themselves do anything besides that. All they, they, it's like they keep you inside their head, but that's it. They're not taking action. They're not doing anything. They're not really telling you about it. So, uh, because the house is the card of privacy, um, or wanting to stay in your comfort zone, wanting to stay in your bubble. That's what the ten, I'm sorry. That's what the house card can mean. So, um, so someone is afraid of coming out of their comfort zone or maybe your water sign or you or the, your water sign person feels like you has this rigid way of thinking. There's nothing, there's, there's not enough looking outside of the box. Like, Hey, look outside the box. And you're like, or one of you is like, no, 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 no. I don't want to, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> now for others of you, this person, like I said, has you on their mind secretly, but they don't want you to know how much they obsess over you. Okay. 
All right, so let's go to earth signs. If you are dealing with another, or if you are dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I drew the nine of wands and the heart. Okay, um, that's good. The heart is love, romance, feelings. The nine of wands, I know everyone sees that card as the player card. It can be, it can be. So for some of you, you are dealing with the player, <laughs> but you can't get enough of him or, or them or her. Sorry, it's not always men. I know, I know. You men out there are like, wait, women cheat too. I'm not saying... Uh, you are you are correct okay <laughs> this week there's a lot of um but the knight of wands is not just a player it's like passionate so there's a lot of passion between you two this week with the heart card being here um but you need to be patient that there's like it's almost so much that you both can't wait to see each other all over again it's like you just saw them and now you want to see them again and i feel like it's mutual um but for some like i said this can be an in-out energy or this can be a new lover that suddenly enters in your life this week. So if you're a single earth sign and you're dealing with an, um, I'm sorry, if you're a single Gemini and you are single, maybe you, uh, um, if you do meet a new person, I'm not saying for all of you, but it's likely to be an earth sign if you are single. And this person just kind of comes into your life and makes you like, have you, you like, wow, I have a will to live. Yay. Everything's great again. Yay. Everything's just like nice and fluffy. You know, it's like, it's like the, it's like the beginning of the honeymoon stage where you have like butterflies in your stomach. Okay. <laughs> um, for some, you have been waiting for this person to come back into your life. Um, you've been, you've been, but the, the, you don't really have much patience, but um, I, if you are waiting for this person to come back or say something, or I, I do see them coming back. The likely based on my reading here, um, it's likely that they will contact you at least. Okay. Um, or for some that the passion revives, it's like, um, like after a period of non-activity or just things being born, it's like the passion is higher this week for you guys. If you're dealing with an earth sign. So for you, based on the theme cards, I feel like your patient does patience does pay off. Okay. But, but for some, you don't have any patience. You guys can't be away from each other at all. You can't get enough of each other. Not that that's a bad thing, but again, you have to be, you know, we always need balance, right? I'm not here to lecture you, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. So, so it's like for some, you've had this patient, this patience has finally paid off. And now, or this person comes around and finally, after a time of waiting for them, they actually tell you how they feel and how they feel is that they are in love with you too, or that they do love you. So it's like this, yay. Oh, I've waited so long for this, you know? Um, but for others, it's like, you guys are so passionate together that you cannot even, you have no patience. You have to be around each other so much this week. Okay. <laughs> because the feelings are super strong here. Um, and, you know, I will say this when you're, you know, when it comes to earth signs, uh, they do take a long ass time getting back to you, don't they? So, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you finally get the, yay, the earth sign is finally acting like a fire sign or something, you know? Anyway, that's what I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed your readings. I will see you on my next video.